Hello, welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony and today I'm very uh, honored and pleased to be here um, at the Davidoff factory just outside of Santiago, uh, Dominican Republic. And we're here with the general manager of the Davidoff factory. My name is Hamles Pinal. I'm the general manager, as you mentioned, and, and, uh, and the head of the global production of, of, of Otinia Davidoff. Sure. And uh, how long have you been with uh, Davidoff? Well, uh, it, has, it has been a long journey. Uh, uh, I have more than 20 years in the company. Uh, I start from the scratch, let's say, and now, as you mentioned before, I'm the general manager. <laughs> So, yeah, 20 years, let's say. Sure, and uh, within that 20 years, what, what kind of other roles have you performed within the tobacco industry? The, the tobacco, uh, it's in my blood, I can say, based on uh, my father, he, he was the president of a big tobacco company in the past, in, in Santiago, so they have an operations here, uh, they, they were especially in, on the uh, wrapper sorting, mm -hmm. no? And then uh, at that moment, for that reason, I mentioned that I have the tobacco in my blood uh, because uh, I always remember that smell mm -hmm. when he came from his work uh, at that moment when we were in, in the house. And then um, uh, I, uh, after the, when I've been studying, I mean, in the university, I, I, were, I, I was working uh, part-time uh, with him in that uh, uh, operation that I mentioned before, and uh, and at that moment I been working part time, and and everything stopped at that moment. Let's say. Sure. So after that, uh, been working there after a year, I mentioned to him that I have the intention to see other operations, uh, let's say more close to to let uh, to the cigar uh, production, and at that moment uh, he may he told me that he has certain friends at that moment. For example, Tabadon and Mr. Kerner was one of the, the clients that he had. And then after that, uh, he spoke with, with Kerner, Mr. Kerner and he gave me the opportunity to be part of the team. Oh, wow. So at that moment, like I said, uh, I start as a um, normal employee. And in the cigars industry, I mean, in, in the company, I've been uh, growing uh, uh, step by step. As we always said also in our uh, process, uh, and our cigars, everything should be in a step in order to final, finally uh, uh, produce the cigar uh, in, uh, in order to, to guarantee the consistency that we all assess. And, and yes, that is the, 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 let's say, the development that I've been, uh, that I have, and also the knowledge in terms of external and internal. But besides that, uh, uh, a, a year and a half ago, the company gave me another responsibility, which is the I, I now am the head uh, of, like I said, of the global production, and also this also includes the operation that we have in Central America, in Honduras. Oh, wow. So, com, uh, 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 asking uh, your question at the end, this is also a new responsibility they have. And, and this gave me the opportunity to see other things, no? To new steps. To new steps, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. And, and yes, that is more or less the, the, the answer mm -hmm. on, on your question. So on the past few days, we've been walking around with uh, Klaus Kellner. He's taken us through the farms, the warehouses, and the factory that we're sitting in right now. Um, how many you know, staff members do you have here within the Dominican, and as you just mentioned, now you're head of global production. Yes. How big is the entire kind of hands-on tobacco team? Okay, uh, in a, uh, based on production globally, uh, we have uh, 2,100 employees. Uh, like I said before, uh, including the, the, the operation that we have in Central America, in Dominican Republic, of course, and, and specifically in, in Dominican Republic, we have uh, uh, 1,400 employees. And then in Central America, like uh, like 600, yeah. uh, 50 something, like 600 is more or less sure. the average. Cool. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. cool. And then from those um, 2,100, um, you know, team members, how many cigars do you actually produce here uh, on a kind of a daily and then yearly basis? Okay. For this year uh, in Dominican Republic, uh, 
We are planning to produce more than 25 million cigars. <laughs> Handmade. Yeah. Red cigars because also we produce some machine made cigars. Sure. But we are referring also only to the, the premium to the, to the premium ones. Yes. yes. And then uh, the average production is around, uh, let's say per day, is around uh, uh, 108,000 sure. yeah. per day. And then Central America, we are planning to produce uh, close to uh, 40 million. Sure. Yeah. And is that at the what the uh, the Camacho factory? Yes, I'm no. talking about the Camacho factory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In, uh, that's in Honduras, correct? Correct, in Honduras. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then with that many cigars, I mean, you know, half a million cigars a week. How do you maintain quality control? Yes. Uh, well, uh, I, I, I'm sure that uh, after the tour that you had, <laughs> you have been seeing the the whole quality controls that we have, and in, in, in the whole operations. Uh, uh, here and also in Honduras, but this is something that uh, maybe in a, in a, in a ne next time you will be able to, to see the operations there. Sure. But here uh, we have so many steps, so many quality controls, and each of them related with activity, which is in line with the the, the, the needs that the tobacco has in that area, let's say, or in that moment, at that moment. Sure. So. Um, it's a combination of things, uh, methodology, uh, technology, etc. Uh, but of course, passion people. Mm -hmm. For me, this is a key element. Uh, people, yeah. at the end, all depends on the people. Sure. And, and uh, because we are talking about a handmade uh, cigar. Yeah. And, and also the tobacco, we treat with people. Yeah. And, and, and uh, when I'm talking about people, I'm talking about uh, loyal people, people with a lot of experience. Sure. And this is the, the one of the key elements that normally guarantees of us in order to keep the, the, the consistency. Sure. We have yeah. to be consistent also with our people. Sure. Yeah, yesterday we did an interview with uh, Henke Kellner. Um, and one of the things that stood out to me in the interview was um, he was saying that passion is the best form of quality control. And that's something that you're, you know, saying here as well. You know, yes. it's, it's a very friendly family atmosphere here. Everyone knows everyone. I know everyone's got a job to perform, Correct. but the passion's there, and as Henke said, that, that's the best form of quality control you Correct. can get. So, and that's definitely um, something that is very true here. So, I mean, stepping into kind of your daily life a little bit. So, how does, I know you obviously, uh, you just traveled to Ecuador? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, that's obviously not an everyday occurrence, but when you're here at the factory, what does your kind of day-to-day -day life look like? Well, yes, uh, as you know, and as you mentioned before, uh, being the CEO here in, in the production, uh, we have so many challenges, uh, we have so many things to, to attend. Uh, of course, especially in production, how the tobacco is, the quality, if everything is in, uh, on track. Um, also, how they, they, our people behave, if they are fine, uh, the, 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 the quality, uh, all those things that those are the, the, the focus that uh, uh, every day we have to contemplate. Uh, like I said, sorry that I mentioned before about our people, but this is the, the, the real thing, independently of the tobacco, which is something that yeah. is, is, let's say, uh, a little bit different, uh, important but different, is how our people feel. Because, like I said, uh, we have to keep that passion alive, you know? sure. their passion. We have to keep it alive, sure. and 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 of course uh, dealing with them, working as a family, knowing what happens, uh, is one of the proper ways. So I spend a lot of time with them, okay, with with the other people. Not necessarily I'm talking about uh, the the top management. I'm I'm also talking about the people, which is in, in each or or every uh, 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 process or area that we have here. So this is one thing. Also. Uh, that if, if we are in line, like I said, with the tar uh, with the quality, if our tobaccos, our cigars has the proper quality, we have a, a lot of uh, checks, quality checks to, to attend. And and like I said, also how the, the, the environment is in terms of the, the what happens in the in the in the world in terms of tobacco, because this is important sure. in order to be strategic. You no, know? sure. if our strategy is on track. Mm -hmm. uh, how the, the markets behave. So there is a combination of things that we are uh, all, all the time have to analyze. 
Sure. And this is more or less the, the focus that I have daily. Does, um, so does like a headquarters, so you're talking about global um, demand, for example. So will they say that, you know, the Ameri like uh, the USA or Europe needs more of these type of cigars. And then once you get that, you kind of roll it out, you check your inventory of tobacco. Very good, and yes. And we have uh, frequent meetings with, with headquarters in order to see what is the strategy, how, how everything is, is, is running. So we have a good uh, communication in that aspect because this is a key element. In order to keep the, the consistency and offer uh, to our clients and our people the same products uh, as they used to it. Sure. No? So assuming you have um, the tobacco ready to produce and you get a, um, an order to make X amount more cigars, how long would it take to kind of from that point to where it's like available to be shipped to a store? Okay, one key element that I would like to say first is that uh, we are able to keep the consistency and also to keep the quality of our products based on an important thing that we have, which is the inventory. Mm -hmm. Okay, if, when I'm talking about inventory, I'm talking about tobacco inventory, cigars inventory. So, because this is the, 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 the first thing that normally gives you the opportunity to respond. Sure. If you have a new request or a, or a change in your request. This is one element, key element internally. But also, uh, we have, like I said before, um, good communication with headquarters and we all the time, we normally plan everything ahead. Sure. Which means all the time we have the possibility to react. Sure. Because also if we have a situation at that moment, they, they know about that and we align on the best solution, no? Sure. So with that combination, I mean communication plus the inventory that I said before, everything is on track. I'm not rushing the process. Mm -hmm. No, we are not rushing the process. Sure. The process should could be keeping the same, uh, let's say, track, no? And then, and then, uh, that, but with this, you avoid uh, situations. For that reason, I'm saying, sure. if we have a higher demand or something new happens, we are able to react because we have the inventory in terms of cigars. The only thing that we have to do is to pack them in the proper way or in line with the changes. And this won't affect the other process which is behind. Sure. You understand? Yeah, and well, the we same happens with the tobacco. Sure, we were in the uh, the warehouses yesterday, and the mm -hmm. the sheer volume of uh, tobacco. We we're in the uh, the wrapper leaf warehouse okay. storage, and yeah. there's a there's a lot of tobacco down there. There's a lot of cigars yes. available. Yes. <laughs> That's the only way that yeah, like you like I said always, that yeah. you can keep the consistency. Yeah, keep the consistency. Yeah. Because you know that we are exposed to have um, you know that we can control so many things, but something that you cannot control is the temperature, the humidity, the which means the, 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 the made nature, as I always say, no? And when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about the crop. Sure. In the yeah. crop, you are exposed to have a lot of things, no? Yeah. So one year to other, when you compare crops, at that moment, could, you could have a difference in terms of taste, in terms of uh, how strong the, 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 the leaf are, let's say, in terms of the, 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 at the moment that you smoke. Sure. No? So, with, with, with the inventory, plus those situations that you are exposed to have, is the only way that you can keep the consistency that we all normally offer in our clients. Sure, it was interesting when we were with Klaus, he, we were in one of the, uh, the binder sorting rooms and you have almost like a, um, like a recipe of what's going in and depending on what tobacco from what year is coming in that, that may change so then, so everyone knows uh, Davidoff Special R from year to year is the same even though you know, the blend inside may have been changed, but to keep that consistent flavor. Yeah, so, exactly. Which is great. And what kind of challenges um, arise for you? Is it kind of um, demand spikes or is it, um, are there any typical challenges that you face on a day-to-day -day basis or a, a seasonal basis here? Yes, uh, uh, um, we, have, we normally have uh, so many challenges, especially the strategic ones, let's say, based on uh, how uh, the company will like to be in certain uh, time, let's say. Uh, for example, if I'm talking about challenge, uh, a challenge for me is uh, as thinking as a global 
a production manager, let's say, yeah. uh, how I can work on the synergies between the operations in Honduras and Dominican Republic. Sure. This is something that I, I always uh, am looking for for improve. No? Sure. How I can improve also the, the, the quality of our products, how we, we are able to develop new things in order to satisfy the demand of, that different markets could have. So those are normally the challenge that, that I uh, normally have. And, and of course, the main one, how to keep the, the, the quality in the proper level. Sure. And uh, leading on from those challenges, what sort of changes and developments have you introduced to kind of reduce those pressure points? Okay, uh, for example, um, we, uh, we have challenges in terms of how we can keep uh, the, 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 the quality uh, of our products. At that moment, we have been developing certain new processes in order to, to see some weaknesses or let's say green area that we could have in order to be more precise as we are normally want it. Uh, besides that, uh, I don't know if you are aware that all the time we are developing new teams in terms of seats uh, yeah. because these give us the possibility to be unique. Mm -hmm. This is one aspect. So like the Yamasa. For yeah. example, like Yamasa yeah. and, and as you mentioned uh, before this interview, now with the new yeah, we're, we're, special, smoking, we're smoking something. Special, well, I'm smoking something special. We just had exactly, a, an interview special. with uh, Ladio Diaz, and uh, he was very kind to open up his humidor and share some, some special stuff. Exactly. And very, very good. If this ever comes on the shelf, I'm sure it'll be a hit. Correct, so. correct. So, things like that, yeah. those are the, uh, normally, those are the challenges that we have. You know? How we can satisfy our clients with new things. Sure. And for us, innovation is a key element. Sure. So, it's constantly just like you're moving step by step in the company, or you're um, improving the process step by step. Yes, that should yeah. be the way. Sure, that yeah. should be the way. Everything in tobacco should, everything related to tobacco is about time, no? So if you wanna do a good thing, so normally it takes time. For example, if you would like to develop a new seed, you need at least seven or eight years. Wow, yeah. So everything is about time. <laughs> Mama Nature is the uh, the key factor in that. Yeah, so in tobacco, and if you would like to produce a premium cigar, contemplating the premium, the, all premium processes, at that moment you have to do it with time. Sure. And uh, as you've been in the industry for over 20 years now, what are some of the big changes that you've seen in that time frame? Well, changes uh, besides the regulations. Sure. Well, uh, changes uh, in terms of markets. The markets are growing. Some of them are, they are new. Mm -hmm. uh, not, I mean, I'm talking about not not the necessarily the traditional ones. Like China's exactly China. based on the uh, China and based that the Dominican Republic now had um, uh, diplomatic relationship with China, for example, that happens two months or three months ago, something like that. And for example, that. Uh, but um, challenge. Uh, Based on changes or or or, or uh, what do you say changes? Yeah, changes. So has there been a, a shift towards um, you know mm -hmm. different you know obviously ring gauges are slightly got ring bigger, gauges uh, for example know, stronger uh, blends. Correct, uh, because market I can say that the, all, all market has been changing a lot, but of course this is based that we as a as a cigar industry we are growing, mm -hmm. so uh, more people people are more demanding than before. Maybe they were traditional because they were only seeing a different uh, some product from Cuba. Depends on the market. Sure. Uh, for example, thinking in Europe. Sure. From Cuba, now uh, since a year years ago, uh, they had the chance. They, they had the chance. I mean, the, the consumers to also smoke different origins. No, sure. different production from different countries. Yeah, and that's and, like you guys have been doing. We we recently. Um, Tested the discovery pillar, so we did the exactly. Amasa, Nicaragua, uh, the Escurio. That and was the exactly, uh, and, and I've been this, uh, saying that because at the end I'm gonna say that for that reason we are, we developed the this the, the discovery um, pillar mm -hmm. is because uh, we were seeing that markets they were demanding different things, mm -hmm. and at that moment we as a company we normally think ahead. Sure. And, 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 and for that reason, for example, 2013, 
we launched the David of Nicaragua. Imagine we were collecting tobaccos from Nicaragua since years here. Yeah. No? And when we saw that we were fine to launch a product with the craftsmanship, uh, David of craftsmanship, at that moment, that was the only moment that we were possible, uh, we, we had that possibility, let's sure. say. And we did it, and you know the, the success that we had on that. Mm -hmm. And that uh, gave us also the, the, let's say, the mandatory uh, position to develop the other products, such as the uh, Yamasa or uh, Escurio, yeah. as you mentioned. You know? so yeah, we've been big fans. It of has the, been a long journey. Yeah, the Yamasa, we were very big fans of that one. Yes. So, um, I mean, touching a little bit back on yourself, I know you've got tobacco in your blood, um, and it's a, a family tradition of yours, but what do you love about cigars? Well, I love, I love about cigars first that uh, it's, a, it's a perfect friend, I can say, in order to meet, uh, to meet people. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing to That's socialize. One of my favorite things about Socialize, yeah. no? Yeah. And besides that, that uh, the stimulation that you have, that you feel, when you finally understand what is behind of a, of the, of a cigar. No? Sure. It's not the same when you smoke a cigarette, uh, or all the products, it, when you smoke a cigar and you recognize the passion that is behind, how many hands pass through it? It's actually the quite effort. unbelievable the amount of people. Exactly. Every, every step, every quality control step. Every it's exactly. Just... It's, it's, it's totally different, and, and also when you have the time to smoke a cigar, and, and, and when you are calm and calm, and in, in, in a good environment, and at that moment is better. No. So those are the things that let's say the main one, that why I'm enjoying the cigar. But of course, uh, if at the end, all of all, everything that I said, I can uh, add how our people or the consumers feels, mm -hmm. this is something that we feel proud. Sure. Is there a, uh, a kind of um, a particular memory that's given you uh, the most joy or of, of working in tobacco? Well, the, 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 the a key element, as I mentioned before, is the, 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 seeds, the seed that we normally develop here, sure. which is not something that nobody has. Sure. And, and when and based that when you grow that seed, at that moment you have a tobacco with different taste, different stimulation. This is something that you feel proud because nobody wants have it, no? Sure. So at that moment you are adding element to the to the to the whole world and sure. based on the markets, no? Yeah. And based on the product that we offer. So you which feel is a, a personal sense of pride being part of this organization? Yes, I, you cannot imagine. I feel proud, I feel a commitment, especially uh, uh, being a guy that, uh, let, I'm not gonna say replace, I'm gonna say uh, is, I have the commitment to keep this structure running as Henke de, uh, develops uh, sure. from the beginning, no? Sure. So this is for me a challenge, this is for me a, a commitment, especially also with the company, sure. based on the opportunity that they gave me. Yeah. So this is something that I feel proud, I feel proud to develop new things, to, to keep everything running as it was developed. So sure. those are things that I have passionate. And also how, uh, if I have now with this position, I have the, I can say the, the, the possibility to develop new people, sure. which means the new generation, sure. with that uh, structure that I have, let's say, and if I'm able or to be the bridge to develop that per those people or new generations to the next level, or even to, to be the, the best one in the future, sure. this is something that I feel. So these are kind proud. of your future plans to continue the legacy? Yes. And just keep those steps? Yes, because everything should be in that way. Uh, if we are offering this product uh, to the people now, we should have uh, or we should uh, offer this product in the future, but should be in another level also with the demands that they, we could have at that moment. Sure. So this is a commitment and this is something that uh, I feel proud, let's sure. say. That's great. It seems like it's in very good hands, so, yes. which is good. And then one last question. Um, it may be hard to pick, um, but what is your actual favorite Davidoff cigar at the yeah. moment? Yeah, at the moment, uh, I'm, uh, I feel, let's say, a, a cigar that when I, I finish my, my daily job and, I be, and I'm going to, to my gallery in my house, 
that I enjoy is the Winston Churchill Late Hour. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's one of my favorites as well. The Late Hour. Yeah. 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 Of course, all cigars that we produce something that I, I, I feel uh, I, I like, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel proud as well. Sure. <laughs> but uh, but of course, as you mentioned currently, is the Winston Churchill Late Hour. Is there any uh, particular pairing, any drink, or you with, like to do with, with, with a scotch? With a scotch, yeah. 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 Which is great. Yeah, that's uh, let's say a single malt. A single malt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fantastic. It's a uh, so neat. that's kind of uh, <laughs> yeah, always neat, you know, to <laughs> yes. get a, the nice aroma. Correct. Right. Cool. Yeah. So, is there anything else you'd like to add? Any questions I may have missed here for the viewers? Well, just just to say that um, as I mentioned before, and, and I have 20 years in this company, uh, I have a commitment in order to keep the the the, the production running. As, uh, it, as, as it was in the, uh, from the beginning. Uh, now with the new responsibility, I was, I'm planning also to share uh, my knowledge and my experience uh, in, in other countries. Sure, uh, and, and your passion. You're obviously a very passionate guy. Uh, so. uh, and the most important thing is that I'm telling you the truth. Sure. I, I feel it. Yeah. I'm a guy that uh, uh, I'm, I'm not a show guy. Sure. Let's say I I transmit what I'm thinking and, sure. and I, I I'm so, or or I transmit what I feel, you know? sure. And and I'm telling you the truth. This is a passion which is internal. I mean, in 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 me, on me, and and like I said, uh, develop people. How to grow this company is a key element for me. Besides the commitment and and now. Uh, looking forward to see uh, guys like you also, like I said, <laughs> and, yeah. and, and our operations in Central America. What sure. could be in another one? You yeah. never know. Yep, yep. You know. So, to kind of compare and contrast how Correct. different companies Correct. do it. No, and how we, like I said to you, how we, uh, we can uh, help in terms of the synergies sure. between production centers. Sure. Yeah. So those are good things that we have. And, and no, I hope that uh, you enjoy everything that you saw here. I would have loved it, yeah. This is uh, everything that you saw, you can come, not necessarily today, you can come in a month, three months, you will see the same, mm -hmm. okay? Because we are in line with the product that we, we offer, in terms of that consistency, quality, so all the time is the same thing. Sure. And, and no, happy to have all of you here. Well, Hamlet, thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure. Really appreciate it. So we hope you enjoyed that video and we're very thankful to Hamlet here for, you know, he's obviously an extremely busy guy managing over 2,000 people. So again, big thanks for your time. Um, for that. If you like this video, please do uh, click that like button, subscribe to the channel as we've been in the Dominican Republic now for several days. We've got a, a full length uh, documentary that's going to be covering how a cigar is made here at Davidoff, as well as many other interviews and different segments of the uh, cigar industry itself. Please add any comments or questions below you may have about this video or other cigar topics in general. With all of that being said, my name is Paul Anthony and I'll see you in the next video. Well, Charles Philippe and I really hope you enjoyed that video. Please also check out the full length documentary of how Davidoff makes cigars. And down here, there's a full playlist of our whole Dominican experience.